Happening now, some Valley students are getting ready for a big competition this weekend involving Legos and robotics. How cool is this? Yes. Liz is live this morning with them. Hi, Liz. <laughs> Hi, good morning. So it's the first Lego League competition. Hundreds of kids are going to be participating this week. Basically, they get a mission, and this year's theme is Animal Allies. And they've got to figure out a way to make it happen using Legos and their brains and robotics. And Brian, you are with Team Red Pandas. Look at that nice little t-shirt you got going there, all of them matching. So your mission was what? Our mission is to bring the shark to the base. Um, it's, we're supposed to be getting the shark all the way to back to sea, and we're wanting to get the robot back to base. And how long did it take for you to figure all this out? It took about a day or two. It, Only a day or two? Yeah. Are you some sort of a genius or something? I mean, we kind of have to be. <laughs> right? Okay, so have you ever participated in something like this before? Um, no, this is actually my first year. Okay. Well, good luck, Red Pandas, but we have other teams here. Uh, that we want to show off too. We have the what queen bees fabulous. Hello. Okay, so what's your project? Um, so our project is basically uh, as Mahima will be showing you is we have to collect the pig who's ill. Its hind legs have been damaged and we have to bring it back to base and heal it by putting prosthetics on the pig. Um, and as you will be seeing Mahima will collect the pig right now. So she goes and swings around and collects the pig and bee and then brings it back to base. How about that? That um, is so cool. Mm -hmm. How long did it take for you guys to figure this out? A couple days, two? Uh, one, two one, days. One, two days. My goodness. And how old are you? Um, I am 14. 14. And how old were you guys? Uh, I'm nine. Nine? Twelve? Fourteen. Fourteen? I'm 27 and would never be able to figure this out even if I had help. Uh, Anna, and you've been helping everyone out. You're an engineer. What got you involved? Hi, um, I work as an engineer uh, in the valley and uh, these are Chandler community children. We volunteer. We have uh, three, about 20 kids uh, this year. We have about four or five coaches that are helping, um, or four or five mentors. Yeah. And um, so this is our youngest team and uh, these are our experienced team and uh, they're making it to the state. Great. Now before we go I want to get to the youngest team really quick here because they have something really cool. Of course we all remember what happened uh, at Universal, not Universal, it was Disney World over there in Florida with the, the horrible situation with the alligator but you guys have figured out a way to help. So who wants to speak? Did you want to? Okay one second I know we're wrapping here but I want to get this in. Okay so what did you guys come up with? So we came up with um, a way to help alligators um, get back to their normal habitat by um, making a ranger station to make the alligator um, get away from um, the pool so children can be safe and people can ride boats. Safe. And these are all sensors that would sense when the, ro uh, when the robot, when the, when the uh, alligator was around and they would notify the people who could help. Yes. Well, how about that? Um, okay, he would like to please speak. We only have like a couple seconds, so really quick. When, when the alligator comes in, the sensors go on. Got it. Okay. Amazing. And how old are you all? I'm nine. Nine? I'm ten. Ten? I'm ten. Ten? Oh, this is the future, everyone. I think we're in good hands. These guys know what they're doing. Good luck this weekend, all right? Thank, Thank you. you. Back to you.